My name is Professor Alan McNally, and I am the director of the Institute of Microbiology and Infection in the College of Medical and Dental Sciences here at the University of Birmingham. I'm currently stood in the Great Hall. It's the most important room in the university, and it's a room where you students will finish your time at the university and graduate. Uh, the reason I'm here is to talk about the asymptomatic testing site that we are about to roll out in the university. So in March, I was seconded uh, to help set up uh, the Lighthouse Lab in Milton Keynes, an enormous COVID diagnostics laboratory uh, designed to test as many people as possible in the United Kingdom by PCR. I did that until the summer, and then in June, I returned to the university where I worked to set up our own PCR testing lab for COVID here on the university. Uh, that lab now tests 4,000 people per day from across the city and also from care homes around the country. And it's an incredibly important venture that we have as a university. Based on that PCR testing success, in the last month, I and many other incredible colleagues across the university, across professional services and academics, have been working hard to create our asymptomatic test site here in the Great Hall. This is a testing site that's designed to allow students, postgraduate and undergraduate students, to be tested between December the 2nd and December the 9th, to allow our students to travel home safe in the knowledge that they're not traveling with a COVID infection. There's an estimate that as many as one or 2% of a student population in any university has an asymptomatic COVID infection. And of course, if those asymptomatically infected people return home with, uh, without knowing that they're infected, there's a very high possibility that they will pass on that infection to people they travel with or even worse, to their loved ones and family and friends during the Christmas break. Our idea is that over eight days, the testing facility here, the asymptomatic testing site, will test around about 1,000 to 1,500 students per day. Our hope is that as many students as possible will take up the opportunity to have these tests. The idea behind these tests is that they're rapid point of care tests. So this is not the PCR test that the symptomatic people can get on our university walkthrough test site. This is a very different type of test. It's a test specifically designed for people who are not showing any symptoms. And it's a rapid test that takes around about 20 minutes uh, to give a result. How the process will work is you will register for a test on the university website from the link that's been emailed to all students. Very quick registration process will book you a 10 minute time slot on a given day. The idea is that you would then uh, attend for your test at the designated time. You'll enter the building through the Bramall entrance uh, and through a queuing system will come into the Great Hall where you'll go to a registration desk. You'll be asked to scan a QR code that will take you to a registration site. And when you get to the registration desk, you will be given a swab, which is in packaging, and a number of barcodes, identical barcodes. You'll then be uh, shown to a booth in the hall where you will be assisted from behind the screen in taking the, te the, the swab yourself. So on taking the swab out of the packaging, you'll swab your throat and your nostril. The swab will then go back in the packaging and the swab and the barcodes will be handed through a hatch to a testing team who are behind the screens. That's your role then as, as a student and as a testee finished, uh, you'll be asked to give a quick wipe down of the testing booth with an alcohol wipe and to use some alcohol hand gel and your process is then done and it should take under 10 minutes. On your walk back to your home or your halls of residence, our testing team will be doing the test here on site immediately. That test will be done anonymously. The testing team will not know who you are. All they will have is a barcode and a swab. The swab will be processed in what's called a lateral flow device. And then it takes around about 20 minutes for a test result, uh, either yes or no, infected or not infected. Well, our test team will then scan the barcode and enter the test result for that barcode. And that's then uploaded to NHS England, NHS digital website, who will associate the barcodes with the result and you, as a student who's been tested, will be sent a text message telling you the outcome of that result. And that should happen within a few hours of being tested. If the test is positive, uh, then obviously that's not the news you want to hear. But uh, what, we will, what we are recommending is that you go for a gold standard PCR test to confirm. That will be communicated to you through the text message you get. <clears throat> and what you should do is register for a home testing kit, which should arrive the next day, 
and you repeat the swabbing process and that will go to one of the Lighthouse Labs or our lab here to be PCR tested to confirm. If you are positive, then obviously it's not the news you want to hear. You'll have to isolate in your current accommodation for 10 days. But of course, the flip side of that is that your infection will have been caught <clears throat> and you will isolate and you won't be able to pass that infection on to your family and friends and people you're traveling with. And that's really what the whole point of this test is for, is to stop people who are infected and don't know it from traveling home and passing on that infection. If your test result is negative, it's very important that you understand that it's negative on the day you were tested and that negative result is valid for around 24 hours. It's very important you don't see that negative test as a badge that I am COVID free. It's very possible you could develop symptoms in the next few days still because of a new um, acquisition or simply because you didn't have, you were in the very early ages, stages of infection and it was not detectable. So it's very important to understand that that result's only valid for 24 hours. If your result is negative, we encourage you to travel within that 48 hours and go home safe in the knowledge that you do not have a COVID infection that would lead to you transmitting, transmitting it to others. Once you do go home, it's very important to abide by any national or local restrictions that are in place, uh, whether that's tier one, tier two or tier three in your hometown or village and obviously still practice the hands, face, space message. And if you do have vulnerable members in your family or vulnerable friends who, who have previously shielded, please bear in mind that you should still take all necessary precautions when visiting them, uh, including distancing and face coverings. We heavily recommend that. We hope this test site will do what we intended to do, and that's to keep your family and friends and loved ones safe as you return home for the Christmas and New Year break. We're very proud of the efforts that we've managed to achieve here in such a small space of time. I will personally be on site for the eight days. I look forward to seeing as many of you as possible come through for a test in that eight days and rest assured that both you and your test are in the hands of a very experienced team who have conducted now millions of COVID tests over the last eight months. I look forward to seeing some of you in the next few weeks and I wish all of you as peaceful and as relaxing a Christmas break as is possible.